Hey guys, Mac here. Just a quick one for you this afternoon. Following my recent videos on VMware Fusion 11, I've had a few people ask if I know a process of converting the drive type from, from SCSI through to NVMe. So if you look on uh, the configuration of your machine, for example, under the hard drive, you'll see that it's set up as SCSI or IDE or, or whatever you set it up for. You can't just switch this to NVMe. If you do, you'll find that your machine doesn't boot properly and it can go through a repair cycle and it never seems to get back to normal. But there is a process I use for uh, moving a machine to NVMe and it seems to work pretty well. So I thought I'd show you how it works. So all I'm gonna do is go to File, New. I'm gonna select a, create a custom virtual machine down the bottom there. Now it's gonna be a Windows 10 64-bit machine. So I'm gonna go with that. Now at this point, you need to make sure the BIOS type is the same. So I tend to use UEFI on all of mine, so I'm gonna stay with that. Now at this point, this is where the changes come in. What we're gonna do is use an existing virtual disk. Now at this point, you need to go through and select the disk from the virtual machine that you want to convert. There we go. Now make sure make a separate copy of the virtual disk is selected. So we don't wanna change the original machine. Now I'm going to click continue. Now at this point, we get the options to customize the settings. Now this, this is quite important, this piece. So click customize. We're going to give it a name. I'm going to call it new Windows 10 just for the sake of this. Now it's also going to copy that disk because that's what we told it to do. It can take a little while if your disk is quite big. This is running on my iMac Pro and of course it's got a ridiculously fast hard disk in it. So it doesn't take very long at all. There we go. Now, before we fire this up, what we're going, what I'm going to do is firstly, I'm going to up the processors and RAM allocated to this machine. I'm going to put it at eight cores and 16 gig of RAM. But more importantly, what you want to do is look at the hard disk type. Change the hard disk from SCSI to NVMe. Okay, click apply. Now, what we should find is that the machine will now boot. The one thing I will say is the first time this boots, it can take a little while. So just be patient the first time and let it run. And there we go, we have our machine. So let me just shrink it down a little bit. Okay, so if we look at the configuration now, you should see that the hard disk is now NVMe. Now, like I say, be careful that first time it boots, it can look like it's not working, it takes a little while, but it does eventually get there. So that's the process I've been using to convert a machine. And like I say, since I've switched to using this model, I haven't really had any problems uh, making that change. So I hope somebody out there found this useful.